We're going to look at all the different propositions in California, including my local area. So let's start with Prop 2, borrow $10 million to build schools and colleges. Now, I'm wondering where the money's gone. They have. And the other thing that I saw is it talks about permanent funding, and we definitely need to repair our schools. So I, as a teacher, I do understand this one. But it doesn't have anything having to do with uh, like school repairs, but how about prevention of school shooters? Like, you know, for, you know, uh, metal detection or face recognition hardware or things like that. So, all right, same sex marriage. Don't have a problem with it. Vote well, yes. All right, borrow $10 million to respond to climate change. All right, I'm a science teacher. The climate's always changing. It's always changing. I mean, we, we had an ice age, which is our last basically mass extinction. So if you look at the cyclical nature of uh, basically the Earth and Earth's history, well, we're heating up. Well, it's going to happen no matter what. Okay. There's not hardly anything we could do. Now, obviously, carbon dioxide does, you know, contribute. And there's, you know, there is evidence that humans do affect this. But... You know, I'd rather kick the can down the road with something like this, especially in the United States. Unless we get places like China and India to cooperate with this, it's, you know, it's not, it's relatively ineffective. So we're going to, let's start with Proposition 5 now. Uh, this is going to make it easier for local governments to fund affordable housing infrastructure projects. All right. Now, what does it do? It says California makes it difficult for local governments to borrow money, not only do most cities and counties bonds require voter approval, they need the support of at least two thirds of their voting to pass. So this is going to amend that. So it's down to 55%. I don't know. This is a constitutional amendment. And so I don't really like doing that. If they can't pass two thirds by the people in their area to support what they're doing, uh, they probably shouldn't be doing it because they're spending our money. All right. Limited limit forced labor in state prisons. I already got to say hell no to this one. I'm sorry. But uh, you know what? They went to prison. They're like, if they can make some good, plus they refuse to work instead. So, uh, I, but if they ever do get out, they're going to need some skills. They're going to need some, you know, discipline. And this actually creates a lot of that state minimum wage to $18 an hour. This one, I'm very undecided. All right. I see all the young people and they don't make any money except in like fast food restaurants or the government, like if the government wants to put like $25 minimum for uh, any kind of health worker. But so I do get it. So I'm kind of almost leaning towards, yeah, the kids, like they need to do this. But you do realize the people that are against this are all the farmers. And the farmers say it will cost a lot more money for food. So that goes back in a circle. Now the $18 an eight hour uh, kid can't afford the freaking food that's on the table. All right, allow local governments to impose rent controls. So landlords set their rates on going rates. And this just, they just did this in Argentina where they took away rent controls and found out that the prices fluctuated on the market and the market demand. So if people stop renting or going down, you know, and the housing prices started falling, then it really went down. Like the prices went down. Okay, require certain providers to use prescription prescription drug revenue for patients. All right, so serve low income and risk patients get a discount on pharmacies. That's not a problem. Okay. So they can turn around and they can sell those drugs to the retail market. Their profits can then be used to expand their health or services to disadvantaged groups. All right. Make permanent a tax on managed care health insurance plans. Ooh, I don't know if I like this one. Okay. Anytime you're going to tax a permanent tax on something like that, it's going to go up in price. All right. Then I'm going to, if Newsom wants it, I want it. I, I, I'm, if he's against it, I want it. <laughs> that's just all there is to it. Increase penalties for theft and drug trafficking. Well, that's definitely a yes. Okay, so once I saw this about the Nurses Association is definitely voting against it. 
They say Tenet, which is that company I told you about, has invested and think it's horrible. What, what does that tell you? All right. So all the registered nurses are against it. And that's why I said that at the very beginning. All right. And the reason why it's not going to do anything except it would eliminate the public's control and oversight of the hospital by selling it to tenant care, health care. So it says it right there. So this is a definite big no for me. All right. Tell me what you think. If there's anything else you'd like to see. As always, have a wonderful and blessed day.